Good day. Today, I would like to throw light um, on this topic. Corner peas, advantages and disadvantages. You may want to ask why. Well, we've had a lot of people come to us to say, look, I want corner peas in our budget plot uh, transactions and even in the uh, better priced or uh, higher priced uh, uh, plots transactions and they say people just always want corner pieces and I don't know why well don't let me say I don't know why I know why but I think that a number of times they only know one side of the story and they should better be abreast of all the sides to the story and that's what this video is about so I would encourage anybody that does land transactions real estate land transactions to listen and watch this video and get some basic knowledge so that it can inform your decision now I have here a diagram of uh, two plots of land I will call this plot one and I will call this plot two now plot one is the corner piece and this is the regular plot how do you mean now a corner piece is a plot of land you can see this is the plot of land we are talking about here this plot following this border okay corner piece is a plot of land that is bordered on at least two sides by road corner piece is a plot of land that is bordered on at least two of its sides by road so here is one side this is a road here okay and then here is another side and this is a road that goes this way here so there's a road here for this side there is another road for this side on this side it's bordered by another plot on, on the other side, we assume that it's also bordered by another plot. So, this makes this plot a corner piece. And then, this is a regular plot following a corner piece. So, it's just bordered by, I mean, a road on one side, this side. Why is it that a lot of people want corner piece? They want it for two basic reasons. One, they think that corner pieces are always bigger that's number one number two because the fact that it's bothered by road on two sides makes it very interesting in terms of what you can use it for so you find a lot of corner pieces if I buy a corner piece for example I could build say this is a corner piece and this side these are the roads around. Okay, I could build such that I cut my building into two, my plot into two. I build something for myself here, and I build something maybe for investment or to let out here. They may be sharing the same wall even. But you see, they will have different entrances, and nobody would disturb one another. Meaning that people can enter from here, and I can gain access to my property from here, and people can enter from here and so it makes it very interesting to be able to work with okay and maneuver regarding what you can build and all of that is usually much more interesting but are they always bigger no they are not always bigger a standard plot size in lagos area is taken to be like about four i mean 648 square meters but it can be any any size that a plot is called is what the plot is. But this is like a standard plot size. Okay. Now, most corner pieces are bigger than 648 square meters. Yes, where you have all the other regular plots are 648. But some corner pieces are smaller than 648 square meters or just exactly 648 square meters. Now, corner pieces usually people will try the, the town planners will try to make it bigger because of what i'm about to explain and anybody asking for corner piece must note this because this is like 
a disadvantage of corner piece that you must have at the back of your mind whenever. You can see that what I have here is like the footage of a building of a house. Okay? I have it within the plot. Like the footage of a house. Okay? Now, for the corner piece, you would realize that this is the boundary of the land. There is what they call set off. Okay? I mean, set back. I mean, sorry. Set back. Okay? Now, set back is required by land use uh, uh, regulations, land planning and all. As the space you leave between where you, the boundary of your land and where your building starts. And for the four corners of a plot, there are specific uh, meters you, you have to leave. In Lagos State, for example, and also in Ogun State, I think, and most other states in the country, for a corner piece, you have to leave for a residential property, residential property, you have to leave six meters in front. This is considered where the road, where the land is bordered by a road, you have to leave six meters. Where the land is bordered by a road, you have to leave six meters. So for a corner piece, it means that you leave six meters in front and you also leave six meters on the side. Note that most plots are usually rectangular in shape, having 18 square meters by 36 square meters. 18 by 36, 18 by 36, here to here, 18, here to here, uh, 36. So, like rectangular shape. So, you have to leave 6 meters here and then leave 6 meters here because it's bordered by road on two sides. Whereas on the regular plot, you only have to leave 6 meters in front. On the other sides that are not bordered by road, you leave 3 meters. You are expected to leave 3 meters between your fence and your building. So, same thing here, 3 meters, 3 meters. Now, the implication of that is that if your corner piece happens to be a regular plot size, 648, guess what? It will mean that along the stretch of 18 meters, you will leave 3 and 6, meaning the width of your property can only be 9 meters. And along the length, Okay, you would also be expected to leave 3 meters and 6 meters, meaning the width of your property would, can only be 27 meters. Now, if you multiply, take your calculator and multiply 9 by 27. 9 times 27 will give us 243. So it means that buildable area within this within this corner piece of regular plot size can be maximum of 243. Whereas the regular plot, 3 meters, 3 meters with 18 leaves you with 12. as width and 6 and 3 out of 36 leaves you with 27 as width so in this case 27 times 12 your buildable area here can actually be 324 square meters that is like um, about 2 about 81 square meters difference. It's like 81 square meters more than uh, what you can build on your corner piece. So you realize that you can build less on your corner piece if it is regular plot size. So before you start insisting on corner piece, ask what is the size of the corner piece? Because most of the time, corner pieces come with a premium. Because they also know the advantage it can give you, even with the smaller uh, area of building.
building. You can still have your structure and somebody can access this space without disturbance and another person can access this space without disturbing themselves. So that advantage is there. And corner piece comes at a premium for that alone. But if you want to build something energetic, you have to ask for the size of the corner piece so that you know what you stand to lose at the end of the day as compared to you, a regular uh, 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 piece. So I hope that with this, we've been able to I mean, educate you as to the demands of corner pieces versus that of uh, a regular piece of plot, I mean, a regular piece uh, of land. Thank you very much. I mean, you're sincerely, Debo Adejano, in the business of helping you sack your landlord.